Now we are going to learn about these algebra rules for gradient. Okay, here are five rules that we need to learn. It is the same as we have learned about these algebra rules when we first learned about differentiation. Well, let's take a look. Let's say if we have f plus g, okay, and we would like to find the gradient of f plus g. Then this gradient of f plus g, it can be obtained by taking gradient of f plus gradient of g. Same goes to minus. When you have the gradient for f minus g, it will be the same by taking the gradient of f minus the gradient of g. Now, if you have a constant, any number, multiply with a function f, and you want to find the gradient of f, then it will be equals to k multiply with gradient of f. Okay, it means we take out, we take out this k, we take it out, and we only find the gradient of f. Then we multiply with the k. The fourth rule is the product rule. Okay, if we have a product between f and g, and we would like to find the gradient of f g. It will be the same if we find f multiply with gradient g, okay, plus g multiply with gradient f. Okay, if you take a look at the last rule, it is the same as I said just now. It is the same as the quotient rule that we have learned in the differentiation. Okay, if we want to find the gradient of f over g, it will be equals to g multiply with gradient f minus f multiply with gradient g and this whole expression it is divided by g squared for example okay let's say we would like to find the gradient of f minus g and also the gradient of fg if our f x y is equals to x minus y and g x y is equals to 3 y well let's take a look at the first question Let's say we would like to find gradient of f minus g, which is, okay, which can be found by looking for gradient of f minus gradient of g. So if f x y is equals to x minus y, then gradient of f is equals to x, uh, sorry, 1, 1, sorry, 1, negative 1, okay. This is gradient of f, and the gradient of g, it will be 0, because there is no x in the g here, okay? And del f, del g, uh, sorry, del g, del y will be 3. So, the outcome will be 1 minus 0, that gives to 1 for i component. For j component, will be negative 1 minus 3, that gives us negative 4. That is for A. Example, one of the example. Let's take a look at the second example. Okay. For the second example, when we want to find the gradient of the product fg, it is equals to f gradient of g plus g gradient of f. Okay. So f, it is x minus y. And gradient of g, it is 0, 3, as we have found earlier plus g, which is 3y, multiply with gradient of f, that is 1, negative 1, okay? And we get, for the first vector, it will become 0, 3x minus 3y, and for the second, second vector, we get 3y, negative 3y. So, next thing is just to find the summation. We get 0 plus 3y, that is 3y. And the second component, 3x minus 3y minus 3y, that gives to 3x minus 6y. That's how we do the calculation. They use the algebra rules.